Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. All right, got a, got a good one for you today. Quentin Randall, Janelson Boca Chica, Figueroa Boca Chica, uh, the zone card Friday night. Interesting fight. Before we get to that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you had to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Guys, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Just $5 a month. Gets you all the updated props. It gets you the lock of the week. It gets you ask the bookie anything. You can request a video that I haven't done yet. It gets you the absolute best boxing gambling advice in the universe for just $5 a month. Link is in the description. All right. Um, also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. This is an interesting fight, and it's not up on DraftKings, so I'm going to use the FanDuel odds. Uh, but Quentin Randall is an interesting fighter. Looks good, long, good length, straight up and down, mostly a back foot fighter. He likes to be at long range. He's not a hitter. Likes to jab. He can outbox you. He can. He, his jab carries him. His jab, his length. He's got a nice quick jab but doesn't throw anything off of it. He's basically just a jabber. He's basically, like I said, a one-handed jabber. His right hand, he seems to hold it back, not doing a lot with it, keeps it on the phone. It's going to be an issue. Quick reflexes, he's got good feet. He's got real good feet. He's got quick reflexes, but there's no next level to him at all. He, he just looks to to jab and win rounds off the jab. He doesn't, not much of a counter puncher. He's not a hitter. He doesn't throw with any volume. He's just jabbing. Like, he's just, that's all he's doing is jabbing. And, you know, he's got three knockouts and his 16 wins. He's 5'11", 72 inch reach. I'm sorry, uh, 74 inch reach. 74 inch reach, which is, which is long. Especially for that weight class, 154 pounds, 147 pounds. He's got a long jab for, for, for those weight classes. It's going to be hard for him to win rounds at the highest level because he just doesn't do a lot. He's not going to knock you out. And it's going to be difficult for him, for, for him to win rounds. So you can see what I'm getting at here. You can see the problems. You can see the issues here. Uh, it says, it stays, it stays behind a high guard and doesn't open up. Good athlete, but not sensational. And he's not... He doesn't use a ton of movement. He's not making you miss. He's just jabbing. It's, it's, it. If I'm, he trains with Aaron Navarro uh, over at Main Street Gym in Houston. If I'm, I'm frustrated with him. It's just he won't open up. He doesn't throw hard. He doesn't throw, put his, any intention on his punches. He's just, he's just jabbing. You know, he's like a pain in the ass to spar with. But once you get his timing down, he's fairly easy to figure out. He's going to fight Boca Chica. Boca Chica, a little bit more come forward, likes to be at range. He just does things a little bit more. I, I don't know that he's the better fighter here, but he just does more. Nice straight punches, a little bit of pop. He also has a, a nice long jab. He uses it as well. He uses his jab. He's mostly a jab. This is not going to be a really intriguing, entertaining fight. I'm just let you guys know that. A little bit more pressure, a little bit more come forward, a little bit more combination. He's got a real wide base. He's a little bit slow. He's going to be the slower guy in the ring. And he's got to be first more. He's not going to counter Randall really well. He likes to lead, so that's important. He's got to be first in this fight. He's, like I said, a little bit slower. And he likes to be at long range. And it's going to be a jab. He's got to be first. He's And he's got to be accurate with his jab. A lot of times, head's on the line. Neither one of these guys, you know, Randall is just a little bit better athlete. Why he's probably better defensively. I'm not super impressed with either one of these five guys. Uh, but Boca Chica will engage and he'll fight a little more. Randall doesn't like to fight. That, that, that's obvious. Boca Chica puts a little bit more combinations together. He's extremely patient. He's not a high-volume guy either, although he throws in more volumes than 
He throws in more volume than Quentin Randall. He just does more than Randall. He's a better body puncher. And, he, you know, he, he doesn't make you miss athletically. He, he gets hit quite a bit. He needs he needs to get better at judging distance. This is a tough fight. You know, this is I'm going to show you the odds, and, and, and it's close. And I'm, I'm going to show you how to make money on this. But this is a tough fight. I, I, I think Boca Chica, who's a slight favorite, minus 162. This is growing, actually. Hundred dollar bet on Boca Chica makes it sixty one seventy three. What I like on this fight is for this fight to go the distance. I, I think Randall Boca Chica to go the distance is a tremendous bet. We don't have that prop. Come back, join the Patreon, take a look at it. Um, I think it's a good bet because right now if we bet hundred dollars on this, it's going to make it sixty two bucks. That's not that's not bad. I'm, I'm not super confident in that. I'm leaning towards Boca Chica. I do think he wins the fight. I think the odds are good enough where we can take a standalone bet and hit on it. But the bet I really like is for this fight to go the distance. Boca Chica, Randall, to go the distance. We don't have that prop yet. Hopefully they add it. When they do, come over to the Patreon. We'll, we'll, we'll show you how to make money on that. Just five dollars a month is going to get you the best gambling advice for now. The bet is on Boca Chica, 61 uh Make it 62 bucks. It's not terrible. It's decent odds. One times bet. Uh, but like I said, when they do add the props to this, come back and we'll we'll make money on this fight going the distance because it's almost certainly going to go the distance. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. I'm gonna. I haven't shared that with you guys. So I'm using FanDuel. Unfortunately, that's all we got. Typically, I use DraftKings. Minus 160. Uh, Hundred dollar bet makes you 61.73. 62 bucks. They don't have any props on this yet. Unfortunately, I love this fight to go the distance. I think this thing definitely goes the distance. I would bet the ranch on it going the distance. I would build my parlay around it going the distance. I'd bet that every which way. We don't have that now. Hopefully, we get get it later. Come over to Patreon. We'll show you how to make money on that for now. Make this bet. Boca Chica, money line, minus 162. All right, y'all. Uh, it is... Uh, October 3rd, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.